All right, it's Saturday the 7th. Welcome back. I'm gonna do a little radish harvest. As you can see, it's a little overcrowded in there. I need to do some thinning. And we figured we'd make a radish dish for uh, dinner tonight. Alright, just making room for the other ones to grow. This is um, French breakfast and cherry bell radishes. Oh, that's a nice one. Hold that one up against your hand. See how big it is. It's a big radish. Looks like a little overcrowding over here, makes room. And how do you know when they're ready? Um, when they start fattening up, um, you can kind of just tell before they start getting a woody type of skin. Um, and usually got about a week or two window. So, I like to stagger my plantings. Oop, I pulled an early planting. See, that's how I stagger them. And when's the best time to plant radishes? Anytime. Um, some people have better luck um, than others. But, um... I tend to uh, plant them year-round. I'm going to go straight into the water so I don't have to bring the dirt into my sink. And what's, house. what's the difference between the two radishes you showed? Uh, one's the long one and one's a round one. The French breakfast is the long radish? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I think the cherry bells are a little slower to come out, which is why you're not seeing a lot of them. And when you plant them, how long do they take to be ready for harvest? 
30 days. 30 days. About a month until you start seeing them fatten up. Um, they don't like that much food in the soil. You have too much nitrogen and all you'll see is leaves. But speaking of the leaves, you can use the leaves as well in salads and juices. Um, as well as uh, add it to your spinach. Spice it up. When you um, end up sauteing it. So it's an all-around vegetable. Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't eat it by itself. Um, doesn't really do much for me. But it could be used raw to spice up a salad, right? The leaves? Sure, absolutely. Yes. And with these radishes, we usually do a loaded baked radish dish as you would do with uh, potatoes. Instead of the potatoes, you, you um, bake the radishes in the oven and you can put um, cheese over them. When they're done, you can put sour cream, bacon bits, um, chives, all sorts of goodies, just like you would a lo uh, loaded baked potato dish, only with radishes. And the best part about that is if you got kids that are picky eaters and say you don't like the spice of a radish, uh, once you bake it, the spiciness goes away. Um, Our son loves the loaded baked radish dish. I say we need a couple more. There's so much you can do with radishes that you'd never think of, and they're so good for you. And they're easy to grow. That's some overcrowding right there. So I plant them intensively, um, really close together for this reason. Because I know I'm gonna come through and pick them. And this way it gives me a lot bigger harvest. Because now all these will get twice as big. They have that much more room in the soil. More sun. And um, Yeah, we'll be enjoying a couple of these radish dishes and salads. And you can enjoy them all year round, like you said. It's a good harvest. All right. That's beautiful. You follow me over here and I'll lay them out for a little end shot of what we harvested. That's not a bad harvest. No. And if you don't like the greens and you have a compost going, you can just throw the greens back in the compost and recycle, recycle what you don't use back into the earth. And they're just a pretty color.
Not bad. Not bad. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and share. There'll be plenty more videos coming along. And uh, I'll show you how to grow these yourself. All right, have a beautiful day. Thanks. Have a good one.